What's going on guys? I've got an awesome video for you today. We're going to the park and then I have a heaps cool conversation while I'm practicing some slow maneuvers. And I've also got a heaps funny story that I'll tell you during the video. I can't see how you fall off this. Once you learn, like I know you, when you first, <laughs> when you're like, say for the first week, you're gonna fall off a few times. Say three months, you're gonna be like, it's gonna be like walking. Like I said, it's like, imagine you're walking along and you just fall over for no reason. That's how it is on this. I actually fell earlier. It was kind of funny in front of two cops. <laughs> yeah. I was in the in Rundle Mall and like, it was all, you know it was raining earlier today? Yeah, this is a 16X if you want to look this one up. They use a certain model, right? So if you want to ride an electric, a personal electric vehicle, you know, like a scooter or whatever, you have to pick one of those up. If you buy the same model, right, the exact same scooter, and you try to use it, they can give you a $2,000 phone. I know, I know someone that actually got it. Any reasons why you don't want to use one on the street? Like, for one, it's got everyone's germs on it, if you're worried about the contagion. Oh, yeah, like people are pissing in the helmets and shit. Yeah, it's dirty, like, they smell even. Like, they literally smell. Yeah, man. It lives in the gutter. So, yeah, stay tuned. And the conversation I have is with these photographers, and they'd never seen an EUC before, and they were pretty fascinated by it. They stopped to take pictures, and so I stopped to talk to them. Make sure you stay until you get to that part. Because, you know, the wheels just dig into the sand. The veteran Sherman, like one of these things, it goes 70 k's an hour on the sand, man. How crazy is that? And guys, if you enjoyed the video at all, smash that like button. I'm asking you to do that. It's only double the work. You clicked once to open the video, and I'm asking you to click once more to smash that like. It's actually more than double, because it's a small button, so you've got to be precise. So I'm asking you to zone in on it, home in, and get that biatch in the face, in the head, anywhere. All right, let's get it, guys. Yes, sir, moving in. I think you have a chance against us. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Get that bitch. In the face. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. So, this is a Popeye. Look at that, we just hop up, hop across, onto the front row. Guys, I took care of my wind noise issues back in January. Looks like the wind still had the last laugh, huh? Wow, man. Look at this fucking thing. I can understand that being there. But that? I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> it's not locked up or anything. It's a dingo. Look, it's got all these levers, controls and stuff. Let's fire her up. Let's start her up, guys. Look, max flow to wheel drive. Let's do it, guys. Do it! Max flow, let's go. Oh, she's out of control, guys. She's out of control. Do oh, it. no. Just do it! And right now we're going to the park where I'm gonna do those one-legged stalls and practice the slow maneuvers and meet those photographers. So stay tuned. All right, here we are guys. We arrived at the park. 
This is in the city, and it's a big area with lots of barbecues and playgrounds. And we're just going to do a bit of practice, one-legged stuff. And I've been practicing this a bit now with my 16X, and I'm getting better at it. Sometimes I'm able to stall, like stand still on one leg without moving at all for like just a couple of seconds. But All right, so I just stopped the video there for a second because I just want to talk about something real quick about one-legged riding. When you lift one leg up off the pedal, like I have here, I've lifted my left leg. What that means is that all my weight is on my right leg. So my right leg is pushing down on the right pedal and there's nothing pushing down on the left pedal. Meaning the unicycle is now twisting clockwise, so to speak. Or like rolling, like an airplane rolls, it's rolling clockwise. And as a result, what's happening is it's pushing on my right leg because it's trying to twist clockwise, the top of the unicycle is going to the right. And what's going to happen in a second, which you're going to see, is my right foot is going to slide right off the pedal because of that force. Because the force the unicycle applies on my leg there, it's pushing it to the right. My shoe needs to have enough grip to take that force without being pushed off the pedal. And you're going to see that it doesn't. These shoes are very worn out. The pedals are worn out. And as a result, it's just going to slide right off. So you're going to see that in a sec. Let's see it. And there you have it, guys. So that's just a tip for anyone that's practicing one-legged riding. You need to make sure you've got lots of grip on the pedals and your feet or your shoes. And most EUCs have skateboard grip tape on the pedals. And that gets worn out very quickly because your shoes physically abrase it, smoothing out the surface. And also, as it gets old, it gets dirty and you get dust, sand, dirt, filling up all the crevices, so you end up with a smooth surface again. So even if you're not wearing it out with your shoes, just the dust will like smooth out the top and it will become very slippery. And I recommend the spike pedals for anyone, actually. I haven't, I've never tried them, but I really want to get them. I'm going to get them on my Sherman, actually, when I send that in. I'll do that soon. And I'm going to ask them to put those spike pedals on there because that's going to make a massive difference in terms of grip and therefore control. Not just for one-legged riding, also for like two-legged riding, obviously. Because it will keep your feet on the pedals more. You know, you'll be able to do more aggressive maneuvers and it will kind of make up for not having power pads. You know, because power pads keep your legs in place, but grippier pedals will do that too. But the good thing about that is they don't restrict your leg movement. Because power pads, I've never actually tried any decent power pads, but I've tried the ones that come with the Sherman, and they're horrendous, guys. They're horrible. You cannot even, you can't, you're basically stuck standing straight legged. And as soon as you try to bend your knees, you touch the power pad. So it's like getting in the way. So you've got to like waddle, like spread your legs out so they can go around the power pad. So then your knees can move forward. You know, as you bend down, your knees naturally go forward. Well, you need to spread your legs out so they go around the power pad. It's the worst, like, it's so uncomfortable. I took them off on day one. I never used them again. And guys, real soon, we're going to have the conversation with the um, photographer. Oh, there's a couple of, there was two of them. And actually, here they come now. You can see them coming now. And guys, I'll just let you know that most of this footage was filmed with my phone because I didn't intend to make a video today. And this conversation was kind of just out of the blue. So I picked up my phone to record it, but I didn't point it at them, you know, while talking because, you know, that's not normal. And normally I'd have my 360 camera so I could capture the whole conversation, but this time I didn't, unfortunately. But it's still very interesting, so watch it and... You see, they're very interested. They had never heard of an EUC in their life. And I think no, one of them said they'd seen one on YouTube once or something. Whoa. But, and I just thought I'd stop it there for a second because the camera work isn't the best in this little scene. It's all filmed with my phone. And this way you can see the area where they are standing, where I was standing. And yeah, let's continue. You too. See what I did there, guys? That was it, yeah, and yeah, they that. were really keen to know more about it. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, yeah, it's called an EUC. Yeah, yeah. Sick. 
for um, nearly a year. Yeah, but um, oh, it's crazy, man. Yeah, when you first get into them, it's like like before I ever wrote it, right? I looked at people writing on YouTube, and I was like. But yeah, yeah, but no at the same time because I just looked at it, I was like, that's too dangerous, you know, yeah, it, just, yeah. it looks so dangerous, yeah, you know. Yeah, for real. I was thinking when we were like doing those things, like, man, I would break my face instantly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's how you think at first, but then it takes like, usually a few days just to learn to like balance on it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then from there, you just keep getting, you know, slowly better until it's just like walking. Yeah. And then it's, it's, I honestly can tell you it's safer than a bike, like, or any bike I've ridden, I've yeah. used like, you know, suspension bikes and everything. And this is safer than a bike, man. Like I've been through, I've got another one actually, it's got a bigger wheel than this. Okay. And when, yeah, I'm talking about that one more, it's called the Sherman, okay. veteran Sherman. And yeah, it, yeah. it can go 80 kilometers an hour. Oh, no yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like a motorbike. I've done 6,000 k's on it already. And it's as safe as can be. It broke down on me actually. And guys, I just noticed how stupid that sounded. I was telling him how safe it was, and then I just said, it broke down though, all in one breath. Oh well, let's keep going. And now I'm going to get it fixed. Yeah. They're safer than bikes, man, because even when you do come off, because there's nothing in front of you, yeah, you've got like, you're way more prepared, but I always wear like, full gear anyway, so yeah. when you fall off a bike, you can hit the handlebars, it can like, stab you, yeah, even. yeah or it can just make it awkward, so like when you fall, you've got like, all the stuff in your way. So then you end up like breaking an elbow or... With, with this thing, you're, you're just standing there like this, like literally. So when you fall, you've got both your arms just ready, you know? Yeah. So you always land like... Yeah, even if you were to fall on it, it doesn't seem like it really would break too much or too many times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, because of the gear, like, I'm pretty safe in that regard anyway. But if, if you're just riding on a, you know, on the road and stuff, it's... I can't see how you fall off this. Once you learn, like, I know you, when you first... <laughs> When you're like, say for the first week, you're going to fall off a few times. But within, say, three months, you're going to be like, it's going to be like walking. Like I said, it's like, imagine you're walking along and you just fall over for no reason. That's how it is on this. Like, you just won't fall unless you're like, taking a risk, you know, like, going on like... I actually fell earlier. It was kind of funny, in front of two cops. <laughs> yeah. I was in the, in Rundle Mall. And like... It was all, you know, it was raining earlier today? Yeah. It was all wet and I just tried to brake too hard. And there was, you know, the Rundle Mall is like, oh, it's like marble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like ice, man. I just slid. slid off, yeah. yeah, and it, this thing like slid down the mall and hit like a, a piece of concrete. Oh, like one of those things that were just like sitting there. Yeah, yeah. And the cops heard it. made like a huge noise, man. <laughs> the cops were like, they said like I'm not allowed to ride in the mall. So oh, really? yeah, and then oh, yeah. so I didn't, they didn't do anything. Some cops will give you a fine for riding this thing. Do you know that? Yeah, you know the scooter. You know you see all the scooters like um, the share scooters you can just pick up and ride. Yeah. They use a certain model, right? And they say the law technically says you have to if you want to ride an electric, like a what do you call them? A personal electric vehicle. You know, like a scooter or whatever. Yeah. You have to pick one of those up. Like you have to rent one of those, you know, the ones you just see lying around on the street. If you buy the same model, right, like the exact same scooter, and you try to use it, they can give you a two thousand dollar fine. Two thousand? I know. I know. I know someone that actually got it, and like most cops won't do that though. Like literally, ninety nine percent of cops wouldn't actually do that. But if they want, technically, they can give you that fine. It, it makes no sense because even if you've got the same scooter. There's many, there's many reasons why you don't want to use one on the street. Like, for one, it's got everyone's germs on it. If you're worried about contagion. Oh, yeah. Like, people are pissing in the helmets and shit. Yeah. It's dirty. Like, they smell even. Yeah. Like, they literally That's smell. Everyone. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't pick one of those up. And, like, secondly, you don't know if the brakes are good or the tires. Yeah, Because if it's just, it lives in the gutter, how is it going to be safe? Yeah. And the cops are saying, no, nah, you have to pick that thing up and ride it. You can't even buy your own one, keep it clean, maintain everything, which is obviously much safer. It's completely corrupt. It's like, they're not like looking out for our safety. They're looking out for like, corporate interests. If everyone has their own scooter, they're going to save so much money on petrol, parking, yeah, yeah. They're amazing, man. Like, I don't know if you've ever, like, have you got into any electric vehicles yet? Yeah, 
Or like small ones, I mean? Yeah, I mean, I do scooters and shit. Oh, yeah. I've never gotten like super into it, especially not like recently moved up to Adelaide. So oh, yeah. Because if you ever have to drive the traffic, like, they save you an hour every single day. Like, imagine adding an hour to your day. Yeah, it's real. And they save you money. And it's just like, it's a no brainer. But like, they know that, you know, lots of people want to use the scooters now. So they're stopping, you know, they scare people out of it basically but say yeah well, i heard they're gonna they're looking into it you know they're trying to pass a new bill well, that's good. so hopefully it does take to because there's like they're gonna like stop picking these they're gonna make these things they're gonna like you know mix rules around it oh yeah they're gonna come to like you know, like a like a better place with this yeah exactly so yeah look into them though man like i would i recommend them to anyone okay, like, sick, man. It's great, like think about how useful it is too. You go like that, right? Just think about that. Is that kind of Not really. It's much lighter than any scooter you this has got 150 kilometers of range. Oh shit. Yeah, and it can go 50 k's an hour max speed. So it's pretty like Yeah, it can, but you don't need to. Yeah, I connect to this so I can see my speed and all that. Yeah, so it's just like um I saw a tick wrist or something like that. It's just a you know smartwatch. But what I'm saying is it's so useful because you can put that, it's like five times more than a bike, you know? And then you just, oh, yeah. There you go. You just walk around, like literally there's nothing, it does all the work, but you just move that around. Oh, cool. So even if it's heavy, it wouldn't even matter. But it, they're awesome, man. They're crazy. When I first saw them, I was like, no, that's going to be a toy. And now I can tell you fully, this is a machine, you know what I mean? It'll take over your car. You know? like, it looks it'll, heavy. Yeah, I've, I've had like a hundred crashes, literally, like, look at this. Yeah, that's from like. No plenty of like, scratches in that. Yeah, it's, I've had it looks like so many crashes, man. man. It did break down once, and I just got it fixed. It wasn't too impressive. It's just like I reckon I crashed literally when I say a hundred. I'm not even exaggerating. And then on like the hundredth crash, it just like stopped working. <laughs> and I sent it in. They replaced the um, the main board. You know what I'm saying? That's, they, they did, a, actually they replaced a few more things, but it wasn't necessary. Yeah, the last thing I can say about it is it's so simple, there's only three parts to it. It's a wheel, a controller, and a battery. Oh yeah. So this will last forever. Like I could, even in 50 years, I could still be, you could see me on this thing still. And I would have just replaced the main board for a hundred bucks, the motor for a couple of hundred, you know. It's like, this thing will go forever. It's so simple. Yeah, man. But yeah, look at so it's just E U C man. Yeah. Just go on YouTube, type E U C with three letters, and then you'll find like tons of info on them. Pretty, they're yeah, pretty. Yeah, I think I've seen them around the mall, like, the oh yeah. Should be too good. Yeah, this is a 16x if you want to look this one up. But the veteran Sherman, that's like the best one. The one that goes 80 k an hour on the beach. You know what I'm saying? Like you're right next to the shore. When I, I remember taking my scooter there and I could only go like 10 kilos an hour because you know the wheels just dig into the sand. The veteran Sherman, like one of these things, it goes 70 k's an hour on the sand, man. How, how crazy is that? It, exactly. It's you don't need any. When I go on the sand, I don't wear like any pads. Or anything. It's awesome. Just look around, look up if you can. Or well, you don't have to. But my channel is called Arc Ride. Oh yeah. So just A R C Ride. I've got like probably 50 videos up there now and like it's starting to grow the channel is like Superman light on the back. That's what I put it. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can all check that out later. Awesome, man. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Yeah, cool. You have a good one, man. Yeah, good day. See ya. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I've got a much better video coming up very soon. I'm sorry I've been off the radar for a few days, but I've been working hard on a couple of videos, or like one in particular. And then this one was like just a side video, so I just put this one up first and then in a few days will be like a bigger video with like a coming up and everything. So I'll see you in that one. Peace.
Loving the ride, guys. Loving the ride. 